Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of O Java. In continuation with exception handling, now we will discuss about custom exception. Now what is custom exception? A custom exception is nothing but user defined exception. Along with checked and unchecked exception, we can categorize exceptions in two more categories. One is predefined, which are already available in Java, and another is user defined, where according to need of application, we will create exceptions. Those are termed as custom or user defined exceptions. Now, how we are going to create a user defined or custom exception? Simple way. We are going to create a class which will be extended from a predefined exception. So, it will be a subclass of any predefined exception. Now, which class should be the super class of my custom exception? So, this can be a class which is handling checked exception or which is of type checked exception or which is of type unchecked exception. However, I suggest whenever you are creating your own exception, make sure that you are creating a checked exception so that whenever you are applying that particular data check or whether the value is as per their expectation or not, that is known to the compiler and compiler will force you to handle that particular condition. So let's now check how can we create an exception. So let's now have a look at these classes. So I have a user class which has got one parameter named as age. Now I'm developing an application where I'm accepting age value from the user and the requirement of my application is whenever the age value is being set by the user, it must be 18 plus. Say, for example, I am uh, developing a social networking website where there is certain age limit or banking application or any application which requires data from the user, which is age of user. Now, while accepting this particular data and setting the value for that particular object, I need to make a check or I need to uh, have a check that whether age is as per the requirement or not. So I'm just making one change over here because then compiler will get confused which value to check. So if A less than 18, do something, right? Else, so while putting the data in age variable, I need to have a check. It's not 10, it should be 18. So if age value is less than 18, I want to handle this particular condition and the value must not be set for the age variable. If the value is greater than 18 or 18, then only value must be set for the variable. So how to handle this particular situation? Now, I can do this by using simply saying that uh, just a system.out.println age cannot be less than 18. And I can terminate the program calling system.exit0. But then explicitly I will have to do it whenever it is required, whenever I need this age criteria to be checked. What is another approach? create an exception, create a class. So once I'm creating a class, the class itself is reusable. So we will create a new class. Say for example, age exception. 
and this h exception extends exception i'm creating a checked exception type now creating this particular class is very simple so i have string message and this message can be sent to the super class because exception class already has a constructor which accepts one string variable and it prints on the console so we can simply call this particular super class constructor or you can explicitly print system dot out dot print ln message both the ways it is going to work now how i will be using this so if age is less than 18 that means the age criteria is not satisfied so we will create this particular exception as new age exception and i will say age criteria not matching so any message whichever you want to specify over here right now i have just created the object but it will not be thrown so to throw this exception explicitly we need to make use of keyword as throw whenever i am creating this object not age exception this is the user object so user user equal to new user user dot set age 12 say for example system dot out dot print ln age is and i'm calling this user dot get age met now i'm getting compilation error over here why because whenever any exception is thrown which is a checked exception compiler will make sure that you are handling that exception in your code now how to remove this compilation error this compilation error can be removed in two ways first of all let's understand one condition that this main method is calling set age method so this is calling code and this method is being called so this is called code now how we will be able to handle this particular uh, exception this exception can be handled either in called code or in calling code we are going to have a look at both of these so if i decide that i want to handle this particular exception in called code so that it is thrown and uh, handled over here itself and calling code need not to worry about which exception being thrown how to handle it calling code is not responsible for handling that particular exception so we can simply add this particular exception in try catch block so whenever this criteria is not matched it will throw an exception and it will handle that exception over here itself and what output we will get is age is zero because i have used get age method and there is no age set for it and age criteria not matching this is the message which we have received let's now see the another approach where calling code will be responsible for handling the exception so calling code when calling code is expected to handle the exception that code which will cause exception to be thrown must be written in the try block so this code will be written in the try block what remains age exception to be handled 
However, exception is being generated here and needs to be handled here. So this exception needs to get propagated. Okay. So to have that exception propagation, we can make use of a keyword rows from Java. This is one more keyword which is used. So in exception handling, so far we have seen five keywords. Try, catch, finally, row. And this is the last one, which is rows. So now, compilation error from calling code is gone. Now, called code is not responsible for handling any exception. A compilation error from called code is gone. And this calling code is no more responsible for handling that exception. However, now this responsibility is given to the calling code. So we can simply call or simply add this particular statement within I block and write a corresponding catch block to handle the exception, which is wrong. So depending on what type of exception you want to be handled, depending on the value, depending on the data, you can create that type of exception. And when and where required, as it is a simple Java class, you can use it as by creating an object of that particular class.